she hasn't been to the park in a while and she is loving it. Come on, Oaks, let's look at the flowers. Ooh, look how pretty. Come on. So it feels super amazing out here. I've been wanting to walk for a while and I just haven't got back into it. So I'm ready. So me and Opal came down here. Come on, sis. She's loving it. She's like, I wanted to go too, mom. So we gonna get our walk on. It's nice out here. It's windy. I was kind of worried because it looked like it was gonna, uh... oh, there's a baby mushroom. Come here. teeny tiny come on oopsies we ain't getting in that water yeah i know what she's wanting to do she's wanting to go swimming so we're going to walk around here about maybe two or three times well two times max i don't it's a pretty long walk so opie come on baby girl she's excited Come on. Uh oh, she sees a squirrel. Y'all, you can already tell and feel that fall is in the air. Okay, y'all, so this little area, come on, right here is one of my little favorite places to come. They always have the prettiest little flowers, which I haven't been here in a while. So I don't know what's out. So there's this one. That one's pretty. There's these. Do you hear the ambulance, Opie? Let's walk around here and see what's over here. Thing there is cool. Come on, sis. Look, Opal. Look. Look at that. She's like, whatever, Mom. Opal, the last time you were here, you were a teeny tiny baby. Oh, look at these. These are pretty. What are those, Sissy? What are them? Oh, look at the look, cute little bike and the yellow butterfly that just flew by there. Look how pretty, y'all. There's two of them. Come on, this way. Oh, we can run after them. Come on. Oh, look at these. These are so pretty. I don't even know what these are. But they're so huge and pretty. What is that? Oh, there's more little mushrooms, Oaksies. Okay, y'all, so I've said it before and I'll say it again. Walking in nature is like my medicine. When I'm out in nature or walking or fishing or whatever, guys, it's like, it really soothes my soul 
and I love it. It's so pretty. There's just something about God's beauty that's just everywhere. Even Opie loves it. Sometimes we can get so busy and just like forget to stop, pause, and breathe and take a breath and just kind of recharge yourself. And I'm definitely getting back into walking because it helps me so much. Look at this. That tree right there is one of my favorites too. I love it. But yeah, we all need to try to re, you know, like recharge yourself. Just like a phone battery, you know, if you use it and like the battery's flickering. And if you don't recharge that thing, your, your battery's gonna be gone and you ain't gonna have no phone. That's like us, you know, you can run yourself out and burn yourself out until you're just wore down and mentally and physically and all this stuff. Uh-oh, so there were people coming. I had to jump off the phone for a minute. She does so good with people now and like little pets and stuff. Like she pauses, speaking of pause and recharging, but she'll like pause and uh, she kind of gets scared a little bit, but she's doing a lot better. Don't you help me. So I'm a big girl and good girl. But yeah, we all need to recharge ourselves. Really, we do. Because life gets hard and, you know, everything weighs up on your chest and your shoulders. And sometimes it's just good to get out and, you know, just focus on just the nature and the beauty and just breathe. I know I'm rambling, but I'm doing these walks and talking about stuff that's on my mind. Hope everybody's doing good. Here comes somebody else and we'll have to pause. There's a lot of ambulance going by today. What's in there, Opie? What's in there, Cece? Ooh. See, I'm exploring, Mommy. She's a lot faster than before, y'all. Come on, sis. Here's one of our little seats we normally sit at. I wonder if she, Opal, you wanna sit with Mommy? You wanna sit with Mama and take a break? Y'all, so. There's this guy that's walked around us two times. He's kind of fit, kind of short. He's got a beard and kind of cute. And so anyways, um, Opal, so the first time she barked a little bit, second time we were, I stopped at that chair back there where I stopped vlogging and she starts barking and like kind of acts like she's gonna run, run after him. Look at her. I said, okay, are you flirting? Do you like him? Or are you just barking to be barking? I think she's flirting with him. She sees a squirrel, but it was funny. This man had on like, oh my God. He had these little short shorts on and no shirt on. I was like, okay. So I think he cackled whenever he heard me say that. I, I didn't say it too loud, but when he walked by, I think he heard it. But yeah, she's barking and flirting. Lord, how mercy. Hang on, Oaks. She's definitely loving this. So I had like, I had like 4,200 steps in at work, which I don't, I'm, excuse me, I don't really have more, but I'm anxious to see how many I get in. I might walk one more time around, but I don't know. It kind of it kind of looks like it's going to rain. So yeah, Opie's barking and flirting. Sassy little girl. Yeah, it's getting dark out through here. So I hope y'all have had fun while I'm vlogging.
Come on, big girl. I'm sorry if I'm jarring the camera. She's just super fast. Come on. Oh, it's gonna rain, Opie. Come on, honey. This way. Oh, I see you're gonna go that way. <clears throat> She'll sleep good tonight, y'all. Y'all look how pretty. No, we're not getting down there in that mess and getting dirty. We're not. <laughs> She's so stout. Get a drink and that's it. Get your drink. God love her soul. Now I didn't bring you here to get wet. Now you're gonna have to dry off, sissy. No. She is so sassy. All right, come on. Come on, let's go walking some more. Good girl, good girl. My gosh, she cracks me up so bad. Opal is very adventurous. Look at that tree. How it's just slanted. So over there is a little swimming area where I used to vlog with the kids. And then here's a little dock. Come on, sis. Wanna go up here and look? Come on, let's go look if you want to. What do you see? You wanna go on the dock and look? Huh? Well, let's go then. Wanna go over there and look? Are you scared? Come on, mommy, won't let it hurt you. Come on. Girlfriend, you got me looped up here. We can take a little mini break. You want to? She does not like pictures, y'all. All right, sis. Go find you some water somewhere. Go on, go get you some water. You can do it. Is it too rocky for you? Opal, you want some water? Come on. There she goes. Oh Lord, Opal. That's great. She got her water, I guess. Now she's super wet. <laughs> Golly bum. She's a sight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was a drop off, wasn't it, sis? Say it's okay to be adventurous. Shake off, shake off. They finally got that going back again. Okay, so as I was walking, I was looking at these little tables over here. And I remember in particular this one over here. I'll show you in a minute, but um, look at this tree. This table over here, I think it was either, I think it was that one right here in front of this. That one right there. 
But anyways, um, I was going through, look at my hair, it's getting curly and frizzy. But I was going through a really hard time. Uh, look at this, how pretty. I was going through a really hard time. And um, Opie, where's she at? I'm trying to get a picture with her. She don't like pictures anymore. And anyways, um, Lord, I think it was several years ago. I think I was going through a divorce and um, just a really, really hard time. Really low moment in my life. And uh, don't we all have those guys? But anyways, as I was walking by, I, like I was reminded that that day and like it was storming so bad. And I remember just hearing the rain and the lightning, lightning and the thunder, how it just kind of pieced in my soul. I know that sounds weird, but it did. And hang on, there comes some people. I'll get right back with you. Y'all, it was this one. I had to pause that because there was a lot of people and I had to contain her. Come here, Opsies. Come on, bud. Come on, over here, sis. Come here. Anyways, I was reminded by that time of my life. And again, at that time, I just needed to just come here and recharge and that's sometimes we often do that but you have to make sure that you do that for yourself because if you don't then you're going to be in shambles so i don't know if there's anybody out there that's going through a hard time you know whatever things that you love whether it's nature and even if you those of you that can't get out and walk or you know you have a hard time maneuvering around god she's going all kinds of crazy um oh she's making me dizzy um, just find a place in the sun, in the shade, and just breathe in the sunshine and the, the fresh air and just kind of recharge your mind. And so get you a book, read a book, get you a, a little journal, write in your journal. And I promise you, I'm talking from my experience, you will start feeling better. And I had to do it daily and I've, I've not been able to get out, which I mean, I take my kids out fishing and out in the, you know, out in the I guess nature you could say but sometimes you just need to do it by yourself and you know breathe and it's felt so good doing this so just know guys that you're never alone and um, we all face things and I know sometimes it feels like it's just so dark and you feel lonely but you know and I've said it and I've said it a hundred times and I've preached it to myself a hundred times Storms don't last forever, you know, but we can always find something to be thankful about in the storms. Like that day, whenever I can relate how I was just having a hard time and I could just feel God's presence whenever I was sitting out there listening to the rain pour and the thunder and the lightning roll. And, you know, sometimes in those stormy times of our life, it's hard. And, but God still wants us to be reminded that he's there Come here, no ma'am, no more water. He wants us to be reminded that he's still there and that there's many things that we can count our blessings for and be thankful through the good and through the bad. So I encourage you to just step out and get some sunshine, get some fresh air. It's about to be crispy soon and that's gonna be even better. So anyways, y'all, she's going all kinds of crazy. But uh, whoo, I'm dizzy now. Uh, once you have vertigo, y'all, you don't do good with rides and you don't do good with twirls because this girl twirls all the time and just twirling around like this. Yeah, got mommy dizzy. So I'm gonna, we're gonna go right over here and sit for a minute and I'm gonna see how many steps I have in. Probably nowhere near is what I wanted. Come on. I really don't feel like walking again. I walked it one time, but with her, it's a sight and a half. Come on, sis, let's go see. I'll bring in along. It's muddy down through here. All right, come here, Opal. Opal. Okay, y'all, so I'm not too good with this watch thing, so it took me a minute to figure it out, but I have my information here to share with you guys. So the calories that I burnt are 363 calories, um, and I have walked 7,160 7, steps. 
3.41 miles and flights climbed one pretty cool huh it's not what i wanted i would rather get some more in but i think i'm gonna call it a night that's a pretty good amount starting off i used to get about 14,000 in but it's a start so we good you ready to go opsies say i'm wet now mama she's dried off some though all tuckered out and ready to go huh let's go Opal, come on. She's ready to get out of here. She's doing pretty good getting in my, my Jeep. Come on. Tell them bye. Opstools, tell them bye-bye. She's like, whatever, Mom. I'm ready to get up out of here. Come on, sis. Let's go. All tuckered out. Ready to get home, get something to eat, and get a shower because it's freaking hot. And she's like over here having a fit. You ready to go home? Hmm? Mommy's girl. You ready to go home? They got grass on my nose and everything else, Mom. She's precious. Anyways, we're going to get up out of here. Bye, y'all.